I'm going to do a big jump ahead. I got to ask about the new album, Empire Central. I have been waiting for this record since Culture Vulture because it was, if I remember correctly, it was originally going to be Empire Central, right? The, uh, one of them was, uh, maybe. I th- I, yeah, I think maybe it was. It was either that or Immigrants. I think it was Col- Culture Vulture. I remember seeing it on like a, a yeah, Reddit AMA right. like seven years ago okay. or something. Yeah, you might be right. Um, so what's what were you thinking now that you've done a couple records, just traditional studio albums, you know, that and Immigrants? Mm-hmm. What was the idea going back into the studio? Are you, I, I, do you prefer playing in front of an audience like that because you can, you know, get that live energy, or do you like having that control? I think I asked the same question to Maz when he was on, but do you, do you like having that yeah. control over a song like in the traditional studio? I don't studio know. I, it's interesting. It, it's uh... <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> uh, because. I don't know. It, it's it just it's just a different headspace, mm-hmm. you know. I think that what was great about this time with Empire Central is that we got to play the songs like five or six times, as opposed to what just um, like you're one or two normally once, yeah, you know, or something like that. And I mean, in the past, we really didn't do very many takes of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so this was nice in that we got to go to the same place every day. We got to really kind of settle in you know, really start to learn, you know, feel good about the music and the parts we were playing and all that to kind of take some of the pressure off. But um, I love being in the studio. I love that dynamic Mm -hmm. of taking your time and trying things. I think that's the thing is like, you know, with a guitar player as myself, when you're doing a project like Empire Central, it's like, you know, you get about that much time to make sure your stuff sounds good Mm -hmm. because there's a thousand other things going on. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're in the studio, it's like, no, we'll try this pedal. No, we'll try that amp. We'll try the, you know, maybe you have more, maybe, you know, depending on the session that you're doing. Mm -hmm. Um, Definitely when we did like Culture Vulture, for example, we, yeah, we were plenty of time to craft sounds and parts and all this kinds of stuff. But, you know, with Empire, it's like, does it work? Yeah. (laughs) Roll tape. (laughs) Do you think that that kind of recording, does it make you nail things on the first try or does it make you less critical of yourself in the long run so you can kind of get over little mistakes whereas you're going to well, be nitpicking de- more. you know it depends i mean there's stuff on the record that i played that i wished i'd done differently or wish they'd maybe taken a different take of that but it doesn't matter because it's like all very selfish stuff because usually the, you know if the band sounds awesome and there's like one or two things that i played that maybe i was like a little ahead of the beat or that note was a little pitchy or something so, uh the the music um you know, there's a part of me that's like, that's the great stuff. That's the magic. You know, that's the humanity of music. And then there's like the social media perfectionist in me that's like, well, that's well, everyone's going to comment about this. And how oh, his guitar sounds funny. And, well, you know, <laughs> that kind of stuff. And so I, I try not to think about that. <laughs> Do you all ever mention like right after a take, like maybe the band sounds good. But you're like, ah, I did something that's just like, uh, you know, I, I can't, I can't live oh, with this. Sure. You ever say that yeah, right after? I mean, there are takes, there are probably takes on, on Empire where like, if you had kept the camera rolling, somebody would have been like, well, I beefed that whole thing, you know, <laughs> or whatever, but maybe you don't notice it. And in in, maybe it wasn't as bad as you thought it was. It's really only noticeable to the person who did it. Like, unless it's like a, the freaking amp explodes, not, right. no one's going to yeah. notice. Yeah. Which yeah, is, I think... It's the You're unfortunate right. thing just of, of making something is the fact that like you nitpick all of these details just for 99% of the people who watch or listen to never even know if it was different. Sure. Yeah. And you're right. You know, I, our, our fans are pretty, they have eagle ears. That is true. <laughs> eagle eyes. Snarky you know. puppy fans. They're a little more well, that's perceptive. All right. That's all right. It's, it's like, know. it's like good. I'd imagine it's like good pressure. I think so. Yeah. Um, and it's interesting because I think, you know, the, the band's kind of been away sort of for two years or so, two and a half years. And so there's a lot of people, I think, that are hearing the band for the first time with this album. Mm-hmm. You know, I remember when they put the, the Trinity video up there. I mean, I was reading some of the YouTube comments and they're like, why are there so many people in the band? <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> like, oh, because they're picturing they like, film the, you know, the people just didn't. They had no idea who we are or what we do or. Mm-hmm. When did you so write Trinity? Actually, uh, I know the answer to this question. I started it in like the fall of 21 and then finished it like a few days before it was time to kind of turn in our stuff. So you were writing it the whole time specifically for no, this album? No, I, I mean, I started, I started it with like a little guitar 
arpeggio voice memo on my phone and i was like this is cool and i just sort of sat on it for a while and then there was like a couple days in 21 where i picked it up and was like okay cool and started working on it thinking it could be a snarky thing and then shell like put it away for a while and then came back to it and finished it in like a day or something so it wrote itself pretty quick how many songs do you have uh on the on the, the album uh, just the one on this one trinity yeah. i mean it was amazing i remember my friend my my best friend and i we we're like texting each other because we were like we're all busy work and then all of a sudden we see like brand new snarky puppy video dropped and we had kind of just like heard about the fact that it was going to be a live album again mark we were so excited to see it cool and my awesome. my my buddy's guitarist and he was so excited to see that the first song was one that you wrote he was like <laughs> unbelievably <laughs> excited very cool and it's and it's an absolutely amazing song and i think it was a great way to Thanks, to man. open up the you know the promotional time yeah, for the album i think it was a good uh good a good sort of um introduction reintroduction yeah because it sho it band. showcases the whole band yeah and it kind of travels through different sonic worlds that we could exist in potentially hell yeah so. uh so I'm, i told you about this earlier but i went on reddit i let people know that i was going to be interviewing okay. you and i asked i just kind of vetted people to see if they had any questions so i'm going to read some questions all right um i go. cannot take credit for these drink out of my empty coffee cup <laughs> drop left i wish if i had a if i had like a, a you know like a big television show budget i would want to get mugs with my logo on it and send it ahead of time to every person oh. so well I, you I, know the uh the promotional products company that i used to work for prior to full-time music that's what they do mm -hmm. so i gotta I do, order I, some mugs i gotta do that and i want to yeah. send them to everybody so everyone just has that's the logo idea. i'll be like the tonight yeah. show uh, perfect <laughs> okay so this is actually related to empire central uh spunky monkey <laughs> what the person's name is spunky monkey oh. <laughs> all right uh We're off to a good start spunky monkey asks what is your favorite song that you didn't write on empire central oh wow dang i i don't know if i can answer that because they're kind of all my favorite which is a lame answer but um seriously they're all really cool and really different and totally sound like the person that wrote them mm-hmm which is really awesome. Do you think you that's know? more so the case now, now that you've had some time off, that the songs are really, you can hear the the composer more so in each song rather than just like hearing the band as a whole and having them kind of mesh together? Do you think that's kind of different now? I think it's actually kind of the same. I, I think everyone's always had kind of an identity mm -hmm. to their writing. And, and you know, if you're a member of the band, it's pretty easy to pick out. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,